I am going to show you how to do a lung ultrasound on this beautiful baby. First, you set a preset of the lung and you pick a linear probe that is appropriate size for the baby. You keep the baby nice and calm, put at the mid curricular line. And you have a lung preset and you see the two ribs with the pearl line in the middle. And you can see the nice lungs sliding and with the C line. And the next step, before you move to the next area, you want to make sure you have the most clean, leaned pearl line. You can fend left and right until you have the cleanest pearl line right here. Then you start moving down towards the diaphragm, just like this. And then while you're scanning and looking, your A for A line, which is a horizontal line, B, another tone is your B line, which is a strict vertical line that I don't see on this baby. C is for consolidation. D is the diaphragm and E is the effusion. The next thing is you scan the left chest. The left chest sometimes a little bit more challenging. You also put it at the mid curricular line. And, but sometimes you will find a baby sometimes have the thymus up there on the upper chest. And sometimes that the heart in the lower chest will obscure your view of your lung. And then for a baby, the heart is actually more prominent in size compared to the size of the chest. So you occasionally have to move to the lateral side in order to see the lung parenchyma well. After you're done with the anterior chest, next thing you do, you put the probe at the axillary and you slide from the axilla all the way down to the diaphragm. At times for here, you may have to increase the gain in order to see the spine and the claustrophenic angle to look for any pure effusion. If you see for any pure effusion, you may want to change to another probe with lower frequency so that you can categorize, categorize the pure effusion better. The next last step is just to do the same thing but on the other side of the chest, go from mid axillary line all the way down to the diaphragm.